Well, good Monday morning, everybody. It is October 25th, and it is 2021. Um, and today we are going to continue our journey through the seventh chapter of John's Gospel. We're going to look at verses 25 to 31 today. And if you remember back on Friday, we left off uh, with Jesus doing his, as I was saying, a bit of a rant. He was he was raging a bit in the temple, but he's in the temple and he's teaching. And remember, there's those little coves in the uh, the uh, the uh, temple, and Roxy's trying to call me, even though um, I am online here. So, podcast. I don't know why it did that. I apologize for that. Just take it up with Roxy, okay? All right. Anyway. I will call Roxy back as soon as I get done here and see what she's got going. Um, but at any rate, Jesus is in the temple teaching in those little inco or alcoves, little little inlets around the outside of the court of the Gentiles, we believe. Um, and that's that's what's going on. And he is ranting a bit, all right? Uh, he's a little upset uh, about what's going on. They're trying to kill him. Would you be upset if they were trying to kill you? I might be a little bit peeved myself. But at any rate, so let's pick up a 25 to 31 and see what we can kind of uh, ferret out of these few verses. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And there he is speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, but when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, you know me and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has done? Um, really, seriously, at last blind. Could, could anyone possibly do more signs than Jesus is doing? Likely not, um, would be the answer. So let's go back to the beginning. Um, again, they, Jesus had just got done saying that they're looking for an opportunity to kill me. And people said, are you crazy? Uh, and then trying to get him to do one more of his works, of, of miraculous works back then. Um, but here he's saying that they're, you know, the people are realizing rather that, hey, isn't this the guy that they were up against them way back when, when he healed that guy by the pool and they didn't like it because it was a Sabbath? Um, and there was more than just that. That was kind of an excuse, wasn't it? Um, but they're doing nothing about it. What's going on with that? Maybe he is the Messiah. Maybe they really know he is. Maybe they are actually afraid of him. And they were afraid to confront him openly. That's why when we get to the end of the book, they arrest him in the garden, don't they? At night. They don't arrest him when he's in the temple courts. Um, that would have been a bad move on their part. So they're not about to do that. They're not going to confront him when he's got this following up there wondering what is this teaching about. And that would seem to perhaps uh, validate the, that teaching by them acting out against him. Um, but they say when the Messiah comes, we're not going to know where he is at. Remember yesterday we were talking in, in the sermon about Melchizedek a little bit. And Melchizedek is that strange guy that comes from uh, from uh, Genesis and then in Psalm 110. Hebrews is where we were preaching from yesterday. And Hebrews talks about him. Nobody really knows where he came from. He's always been, the scripture says, and always will be. And that there will be a high priest in the order of Melchizedek like that. That's always been and always will be. And that's, of course, Jesus. But we don't really, the thing is, they don't really understand where he came from. They understand where he came from in a physical body, but they don't understand where he's coming from spiritually. And that's the point here, that he has come from, and Jesus tells them, I've come from my Father. I've been sent by the Father to do his work. You think you know where I come from, but that's where I truly come from. Um, and nobody arrests him, because just as another one of those miraculous sayings where, where Jesus walks through the crowd, remember, and, and, and when he's in Galilee, and they want to stone him and, and, and kill him, and, and he just walks from the, through the crowd, and nobody touches him because it's not yet his time. God has protected him, has protected what the journey is, and the, 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 the journey is going to culminate the way it does, no matter what. God is work, working through Jesus. Um, but at that point, when they uh, they don't, they tried, then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because he's already not yet come. And then many believed in him and were saying, when the Messiah comes, will he do more works than these? 
this this fact that they want to arrest him but they won't that in fact is a, you know to them is a miraculous thing the romans aren't necessarily bashful about arresting people that are insurrectionists and even though it's the jewish people here at this point they certainly were they're going to call in the romans they certainly could have called in the romans at this time already and they don't um so it is not this the messiah it could be the messiah do more things than this i don't think so as i started off with i think likely not so he is the messiah that's what we've come out of this but um I guess that's where I'm going to leave it at today. Short and sweet today. We'll pick up from there tomorrow. Um, the, the Pharisees are going to be uh, muttering about Jesus again, and there's still this. This is still going to be going on in this whole dialogue tomorrow. So, with that, I'm going to let it go for today. Have a very blessed day, and please, 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 as I always say, be a blessing to someone today. Tell them about Jesus. That'd be a good start. Take care. Bye bye.